Allez-y, on commence tout de suite les questions. Hein. What about your race, uh, you saying? Are you satisfied? Well, I'm, I'm definitely satisfied with the win. <laughs> That's for sure. But uh, what's the best best race I've ever had in my life? Uh, my first, my first part of me was uh, for me it was awful because uh, I think I'm, I'm a little bit weak. I need some course core work and some strength because my first my drive phase was weak. I didn't get any power from there. Is, is that because you have been out with injury for a while? Yeah, I think it, it contributed, but uh, for me, I think I just need to go to the gym, do more abs, do more back work, and after two weeks to do that in Jamaica, so I'm going to work on that, and hopefully it should be enough to come back on the circuit to, to get back on target. Did you feel like you were um, always just far enough ahead of Asafa? No, the first 40 meters, 50 meters, I think you had me, uh, definitely, but uh, my, 50, my last 50 is always the best part of my race, but it never showed that much because my dry phase was, wasn't the best. And if you get the first 50 meter right, then automatically my, dry, my last 50 is always good, but I was off my first 50, so I had to work a little bit harder to get back in the race. But when you're weak, you're better than the others, but very hit. Yeah, I, I would say it's, it's all about determination because I, I want to I want to be the best. I want to stay on top, so I have to work hard. And when you run against the best, it, it's always push you to always try to do your best at all times. So for me, I'm just happy I got through the race, no injuries, and I won. And that's the main aim. <laughs> Is the injury also out of your mind with the start and everything? Yeah, surprisingly, I didn't really feel it that much today. Uh, it was when I was warming up, I felt it a little bit, but during like stride outs and stuff, it, it wasn't there. So I guess it's, it's getting there. So probably in two, three weeks, I should be fully recovered. In the morning, the stiffness? Yeah, a little bit still, but it's not as major as it used to be. You have everything under control. Yeah, yeah. The doctor told me that in in, in a couple of in a couple of weeks, five weeks, I should be good. Uh, he says the tendon. That's why it takes so long to heal. So in, in a few weeks, I should be good, ready to go. And what's the decision to go to do the 100? Because there's much more force in it than like maybe a 200. Yeah, the force does give that a little problem, but it's worse on the corner. That's why I run the 100 meters and not the 200 meters. Your warm up was very light uh, because of your injuries. No, well, I have to take my time in working and getting that start really slow. Then I work my way up to the when it starts loosening up, I can run a little bit faster. But my arm is always good. Do you still feel that uh, Asafa will be the hardest man to stay ahead of? Well, I, I don't pick one person out and say, oh, he's going to be hard because uh, you never know, as I said, it will pop up. Uh, for this guy from Paris, I can never pronounce his name. I met. Yeah, just a little bit. He he came out of nowhere and he ran nine, nine, nine eight. So you can never know who's going to show up on a day. So I focus on everybody in the race and I take everybody seriously. So when it's a suffer, I take him serious. When it's Tyson, I take him serious. When it's everybody else, I take him seriously. I know a lot of guys in in the UK are sad. You're not coming to Crystal Palace. Are you, are you sad that you're not coming? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I love running London. It's one of the biggest, biggest Jamaican places. There's always like tons of Jamaican there. It feels like just being at home, so I'm definitely disappointed, but it's in my job, so. Do, do you think that Johan and Daniel could uh, come closer than you? So came uh, closer to you? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really. <laughs> I haven't seen the race or seen the results. I, I don't know, I know the times as yet. I don't even know what time I ran. I saw 9.83 on the clock, so. For me, uh, these guys are good. I train them all the time, so I know they're good, and over time, with work and just with focus, they're gonna get better over time. So I know these guys are coming up and they're getting better. So keep my eyes on them. <laughs> What's your schedule now, and do you think you can get 9.7 like you were promising? For me, uh, I thought it was gonna be quicker. I think uh, it was a negative win. Uh, it was the best best race I ever ran. I think that said my strength was down. I thought I was a little bit in better shape, but I guess I need to go home. I have two weeks to go home and try to get myself in, in some decent shape to come back. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And then after that? Uh, I think it's going to be Stockholm. I'm not, we're, not, we're not sure it's 50-50 right now, but uh, next race should be Stockholm. Not Stockholm, then it's going to be Zurich. Mm -hmm. so you said, do you like Paris? What about the stadium? Uh, it's wonderful. The people, when I came out, they showed me a lot of love. And uh, for me, it's always important 
uh, for me it's, it's a crowd. The love that you get when you come on to you want to do good for them. So when they show me a lot of love, I want to do my best. I want to go out there and I want to perform for them. To let them enjoy, see me run and see me in the stadium and they want me to come back year after year after year. So I love it here. Uh, I get a lot of love on the street. I went to this Pumak on conference yesterday. It was wonderful. They really loved me. So I enjoy it here. You were DJing, huh? Yeah, that was, that was good. I, I really turned, I really tore it up in, in that DJ. So next year I'm going to come back and I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Usain, you're inspiring a lot of people out there. Who inspires you? Well, for me, uh, starting out, my parents, then it was Michael Johnson, Don Quarry. Right now, my, my role model is definitely Kevin Garnett. He has a strong heart and he works hard. He's a basketball player and he's, he's a very strong and willing person. He, he want, I want to just be just like him because he works so hard to be the best and to bring his A game at all the time. Do you have any words of support for Shelly Ann Fraser? She's got a hearing next week. Yeah, I heard about that, uh, but I wish all the best. I know these guys work hard every day, so it must be tough for her. So I wish all the best, and I hope she coach when she gets the right call. Definitely. We have now seen like two years your imitation. Everybody imitates yeah. both. Do you think you will introduce someday a new one? No, that's that's my that's my that's my signature now. I start my clothing line. So, so it's actually my my clothing line. But it's not only, but I'm out of shirt. My two sort of words that my market like Michael Jordan, he's like dunk, and that's mine. <laughs> so, I got my own, so years to come, that would be my signature. That's my signature pose. So. Did you design your own shirt? Yeah, I had, a, I had a lot of talking, I had a lot of input, and it's coming out good, and we're working on some more stuff because I'm the cool one. So. <laughs> In the future, do, do you plan to limit the number of races you're running because of your leg uh, injury? No, I think my injury should be should be good by the end of the season, so I'm not worried about that. But uh, next year, my coach says he's going to pick up a few selected races. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! He got, he got slow yeah. feet. <laughs> he got slow feet. Yeah, yeah. I'm late. I'm late. Yeah, late. <laughs> so my coach, my coach said uh, <laughs> next year, next year we're going to be limiting the race. I, I'm not sure how much, but. I think he, I'm getting older, so I have to be very careful on my race I run, you know. So that's what's up. With with the tax the way it is, do you think the 2012 will be the next time you come to race in Britain? I, I don't know. Uh, I, I have no idea. But you, you come and train quite a lot in Britain, is that right? Yeah, that's where that's where we're based. So, so it's uh, particularly disappointing then. <laughs> well, it's definitely disappointing. I said. Uh, I love running London because it's pretty much the, like a second home because there's so much Jamaica. They come to Crystal Palace every year to support me, so I kind of let them, it's just life, so. Yeah, Muriel, your race in Zurich is a 200? No. no. We, one, we, only one? I think, maybe. It's a 4 by one we're going to run a 4 by one because... Still, still looking at it. Yeah, they're still, they're still trying to figure out what's going to go on with that, so. Okay, last question. Last question. <laughs> no, you guys have 15 million questions and she said one more, you can't find one more question. Oh, come on.